field investigation work has begun for Brightline West's high-speed rail project in Southern Nevada. Off of Interstate 15, crews are drilling and conducting land surveys to determine the best placement for this section of the rail corridor. Can you hear the train coming? Does this mean it's coming sooner than later? And can you explain why? Yes, yeah, so once, once this process has begun, this starts the whole process. Over the past few days, geologist Tim Wise and his team worked location to location, drilling over 100 feet into the ground to collect soil samples. In this area, it's pretty good subsurface conditions. The soils are cemented and dense. The team samples are crucial to the help in the design phase of the Brightline West high speed rail system. On this day, they were looking for subsurface fissures, faults, and soft soil along the segment of train running from Prim to Las Vegas. We are not encountering any problematic soils, but there could be some areas that we do. Brightline calls it field investigation. It's the gathering of geotechnical borings and samplings land surveying and utility potholing. All of this work has to be done to determine the type of rail design needed. Some areas of the high speed corridor could get more expensive. If we were to encounter uh, more difficult subsurface conditions where you'd have to design more expensive system. Weiss tells me that so far drilling on the Nevada side is going smoothly. Our worst thing about coming to Vegas is the drive. One time there was an overturn in Baker and it took us 16 hours to get to Vegas. The project's goal is to connect Las Vegas with Southern California using a high speed rail line that speeds along at 200 miles per hour. Brightline says the train is projected to cut travel time between our valley and Rancho Cucamonga by two hours at a cost of about $12 billion. It's a concept discussed for decades, but now it's backed by both federal funding and private dollars. Yeah, it's kind of like, a, oh, it's not just all talk. I kind of actually see some action. I would just want to see like them continue and just not stop. The crew here has a couple more days of drilling and that will continue on to next week. Then they'll send off the soil samples they collected. If all tests as well, this will be the new railroad site. Reporting near Jean, I'm Shakira Hawkins.